how are you doing? Oh, I'm well excited today. We are off to Aaron. We're going on a boat. We've had to pull the journey forward by a day because there's some high winds coming in tomorrow. 55, 60 mile an hour gusts again. So we've had to bring our trip early. We was going to stay around here for a little while at the last place. We saw, look at it this morning, it's proper frosty. It's really nice. But it's a beautiful place. Lovely, well set out campsite, this one. There's a few niggles, but it is the winter time. However, we're going to drive down today to the harbour side. I'm going to take you there and we're going to give you a little ferry trip and show you around Aaron. Got a good mate to meet over there. So we're going to go over there and check and see, see me mate, Steve, and do some wildlife photography. Yes, I ain't done them for flipping ages. The weather's been so rubbish. So if you like the wildlife stuff, I'm ever so sorry that I haven't got any in. But if it ain't now, I can't photograph it. And uh, I think it's just nice showing you around places. A lot of people like that. So, without further ado... Let's go! excited right there's the ship it's just been fueled up there's a fuel tanker just gone on and we are going over here look at this just been listening to mullican tie by paul mccartney ah, 
get myself all excited. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? There's a couple of cormorants out there fishing. Oh, I might be able to get some fishing in. Look at that. That's absolutely stunning, isn't it? There's old Gladys. Absolutely stunning. Smell that sea air. Oh, really nice. Oh, there's a pipit. There it is down there. There we go. There's a little pipit down there. A couple of chaffinches. Happy days. They're just feeling the boat up look. I'll treat you lot, don't I? Hey. The boat to Aaron, to Aaron. Yes. So we're heading over to Aaron as I said this ferry's not usually running this is like a shuttle over to Aaron and there's usually a larger ferry running fewer times a day but this is the winter uh, sailings and it goes to Aaron from Tarbert but it's a really nice ferry it costs cost me about 35 just under 35 quid to get across there but the chap said make sure you book your return trip 
because it gets quite busy. We're going over to one side of the island because we're going to Ayrshire to see some friends afterwards. We're going to leave from the other side of the island and go over to mainland Scotland. So, quite excited. It's good, isn't it? We're on a boat. Not too sure about the great big Calagas lorry behind me, full of gas. Ooh. Anyway, see you on the other side. Right, we're off. Let's get off this boat in one bit. Let's go. <laughs> over on the side of the road on the beach it is stunning here and I've got you see those you see seals all the way along here look at those seals let's get some photographs for you and I'll put some in now Take you in here now, dog friendly, dogs welcome. Ah. There's loads of beautiful stuff in here. I've seen something I want already. I love all this stuff. Great for the van. Seen this stuff here. I'll get one of them. I like showing you around little shops. Hope you like it too. 
Better go everything in here, sweeties and cards, smellies. All sorts of stuff. Really sweet little shop. Oh, licorice. Who else loves licorice? I love licorice. I like that. I think I might have to get myself that. There you go, Lindsay. It's your shortbread. Like you haven't seen enough shortbread. Chutneys and jams. Oh, local cheeses. Look at it, oh that's nice isn't it, look at that. Yeah, cool. What a nice wee shop. a nice wee shop wasn't it oh my god what's this oh, I thought it was a charity shop and the art stops it's not open anyway but look at that view look, there's a boat coming in now look at that you wouldn't get sick of it here would you it's a chocolate shop there darling Aaron Chocolate Factory. That was a nice shop. Bought a few bits of the van. But it's not a lot here really. It's just like one straight road. Come on Raven. What we got here? Bar. Oh, juice bar, toys, games, supply, art supplies, stationery. Oh Christ, I know who's going to go in now. Jewelry shop, they're not jewelry and gifts. But literally, where that ship's coming in, Caledonian McBrain, is the end of the high street. Oh, I can't get enough of this view. That is absolutely spectacular. How lovely is that? Anyway, another shop. Sammy's disappeared. Straight in there like a flipping guided missile. And she don't like shopping. So she's in there with all the stationery. There's the juice bar shut today. Juiced. That's really nice in here. Hiya. Hello. Hello. Am I alright doing a bit of video in here? Am I alright doing a bit of video in here? Yeah. No problem. Oh, you're lovely. Everyone calls the dog oh. gorgeous. No one ever calls me gorgeous. Oh, there you go, see? Oh, I'm coming back as a dog. Four legs against two. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you are lovely, aren't you? Hey. Nice little shop. Yes, you are. Thank you. Shut people about. Everyone loves raisin. Look at you, Matt. Hey. Lapping it up. Oh, I bet you love it. Honestly. <laughs> yes, you do. He loves it. He, oh yeah, he, he won't leave you alone if you give him a biscuit. Lots of, come here Raven. People here are just so, so friendly. I was going to stay for two, but I might stay for three weeks now. Oh, books, some nice tree wisdom. I think I've got that. Come here. Small one, they go from Oh, what have I got? Gently. Oh, we get two paws. Sit. Do we get two paws? Well done, you. <laughs> well done. There, there you go. go. Good boy. Do we like them? My dog's like them as well. <laughs> and they're not too big, they won't put weight on you. There you go. There we go, Raven. Good boy. Here's some stationary stuff. Yeah, <laughs> he won't leave you alone. 
just like the wee stationery. Oh, there's the post office in here as well, look. Fabulous. Let's have a look around. Yeah, so that's a nice shop, that is. It's where your local post office is. And next door is your bank, Royal Bank of Scotland. Which all look like, all the ones we've seen anyway, are all open. Which is always a good sign. It's a shame it's going to be really windy tomorrow. Almost managed to get past the shop. This looks really nice. There's all gifts and knitted wares. I don't think you're seeing there. The buyer. There he is. Everyone's favourite. So down there is another supermarket and a cafe and a mini golfing. But look. Oh my god. It's a beautiful day today. It's like a spring day. Well, we're going to head up, go in a co op, and we're going to head off back to the campsite and go for a walk while it's sunny. Hopefully, we get some more days like this so we can get some wildlife photography in. As I say, we're going to do a few park ups while we're here, and when we get back to the campsite, I'll give you a little look around there. Well, I'll be buggered. Just popped in for some some beers into the local co-op. I've met my mate Mark in there. He lives on the island. I bumped, I walked past him a little while ago and thought, that's Mark. So, if you're watching this, Marky boy, let's get out for a beer. Nice to see you. Back at the campsite. Look at the view from the campsite, look. Two buzzards behind me, playing in the wind. Absolutely beautiful. So I thought I'd give you a quick look around this campsite. It's Bridge End campsite. It looks like it's just been sold. Now that's the sign. It's a nice wee campsite. Shut the gate behind me. Oh, can't get enough in there, can ya? Spoil you lot, don't I? Right. So it's sort of a tiered campsite. There's loads of bird life around here. There's the buzzard, I don't know if you can see it flying through there. Over the back by them pine trees. There's a little playground there and a basketball net. So I think there's 11 pitches from electrical hookups. Some grass ones, there's a grass one, there's a grass one there. A couple up the top there. They're all electric hookups around the outside. Camping pitches in the middle. So I just pulled straight round there on pitch number nine. I phoned up yesterday and at the moment, due to the winds and the weather, they're not taking bookings. It's just a turn up and turn up and take your chance job. This time of year there's no one here. But the young lady phoned I phoned her up earlier on, Elizabeth, thank you very much for that. And her father that owns the place is on the mainland at the moment, so he's going to come over later on and take the money. I thought I'd give you a quick look round first. Not even look round myself yet. There's five points. Two five points on the site. That's where the owners live in these cottages here. 
someone else on that one. That's beautiful. I think there's toilets and showers down there. Let's go and have a look together, eh? There's old Raven. I've stuck him there for a little while. I don't know what this is down here. Let's go and have a look. Let's explore together, eh? So there's your bins and your chemical closet disposal and fresh water. Showers here. And this is your washing facility. So that's it, just met the owner, Robin. And I paid up. It's £21 a night of electrical hookup. Raven, shush. £21 a night of electrical hookup. And another four pounds a night if you want to use the toilets and showers and that, but we've, we're all self-contained here. So that's a wrap, as they say in the trade. We're gonna have a couple of nights here because tomorrow is gonna to be absolutely gnarly, 50 odd mile an hour winds, which is why, as I said, we come over here today. But get that out of the way, and then we're gonna go and explore. And we're gonna meet up with Steve, who's traveling around. I think he's over there at the moment. And also go and have a couple of beers with Mark and his wife. Lovely bloke, really nice chap. Been chatting for years, never met. So, yeah, happy flipping days as I say. Anyway, I'll leave that one here. You take care, you stay safe, you stay sane. Look after yourselves and each other, eh? Journey well. Catch you on the next one, the next part of the exciting adventure. Yes. Yes.